the largest and most innovative space telescope ever conceived, the James Webb Space Telescope will revolutionize our understanding of the universe. And so the challenge for the next generation of engineers and scientists and for the kids who want to know what can I do to change the world is we can think of making an even bigger telescope. Webb will depart for its mission aboard an Ariane 5 rocket and travel nearly one million miles to its orbiting position beyond the moon. This telescope is designed to answer the biggest questions in astronomy today. Webb will enable us to see billions of light years away, to the beginning of the universe, the history of galaxies, and the formation of distant worlds. Webb will reveal the unseen universe, inspiring a new generation to dream, to explore, and to discover. Welcome to our solar system, home to the sun and all things that orbit it. That includes the Earth, other planets, asteroids, comets, and human-made objects like the James Webb Space Telescope, one of NASA's windows into systems beyond our own. The spinning collection of rocks, gas, and dust is bound in an intricate dance dominated by the sun's gravity. The system is spread across an enormous space making it difficult to grasp the minuscule size of planets and other objects compared to the distances between them. Integrated Science Instrument Module houses four science instruments, NIRCAM, NIRSPEC, NIRI, and NIRIS, that are used to capture images and spectra and measure infrared light. Webb's 6.5 meter, 21 foot, diameter primary mirror is a gold-coated beryllium reflector used to capture faint amounts of infrared light. Webb's secondary mirror is 0.74 meters, 2.4 feet, across, made of beryllium and thinly coated in gold. Beryllium is stiff, lightweight, and stable at very cold temperatures, but 3.4 grams, 0.12 ounces, 
of gold enables the mirror to efficiently reflect infrared light. Webb's solar panels always face the sun and convert sunlight into electricity to power the telescope. The spacecraft bus is the hub of the telescope. It hosts computing, communication, propulsion, and structural components. Thin layers of Webb sunshield block 99.9999% of the infrared light from the Earth, Sun, and Moon to keep the telescope cold and able to detect distant infrared light. Light travels from vast distances to Webb's primary mirror. Light is reflected from the primary mirrors back to the secondary mirror. Light is then reflected through the aft optics assembly to the tertiary and fine steering mirrors. Far from the shrouded abyss of the protoplanetary disk's interior, the veil of whirling gas and dust thins, bathed in the radiance of the young star. The molecules of gas are sent spinning, 
vibrating and breaking apart to later combine into new forms, forging materials that may become the building blocks of planets and everything that lives on them. Explore how different types of light interact with gas molecules that are expelled from the disk. Infrared light has less energy than visible light, but can cause molecules to spin and vibrate. This light is visible to the Webb telescope. Visible light is the type our eyes can see. It lights up gas, passing through with little effect. This light is visible to the Hubble telescope. Ultraviolet light is high energy light. It is capable of breaking apart molecules of gas. This light is visible to the Hubble telescope. Deep within the cosmic dust of the disk, young planets are beginning to take shape under the watchful eye of the Webb telescope. Turbulent motions in the gas cause minuscule dust and ice particles to collide, some forming new planetesimals, bodies approximately one kilometer in diameter or larger. These planetesimals can be drawn together by gravity and may go on to form planets, manipulate boulders of silicate rocks and frozen ice to build a planet. Welcome to our solar system, home to the sun and all things that orbit it. That includes the Earth, other planets, asteroids, comets, and human-made objects like the James Webb Space Telescope, one of NASA's windows into systems beyond our own. The spinning collection of rocks, gas, and dust is bound in an intricate dance dominated by the sun's gravity. The system is spread across an enormous space making it difficult to grasp the minuscule size of planets and other objects compared to the distances between them. <laughs> 